Dr. Tony Kiss Series, Sugar and the Immune System. Here we go. Another quick clip here. Do you ever wonder around Christmas time and the holidays, everybody gets together, and inevitably at the end of that long time together, that day together, that evening together, somebody goes home, usually children, somebody's thrown up, or somebody has diarrhea, or somebody's running a fever, or somebody has a sore throat. You ever notice that? You think it's just coincidence? Oh, it's just everybody got together, it's winter time, and we're passing around germs. Ah, wrong answer. That's not what happens. What happens is we eat so much sugar and it drives our immune system down that we get an opportunistic infection. In other words, we already have staph and strep inside our throat. Feed a bunch of sugar to your body, drop the immune system down, boom, we have a staph infection, we have a strep infection, etc., etc. <clears throat> Studies show that sugar drops the immune system down significantly. It drops the function of the immune system down sometimes upwards of four hours. So, some studies suggest eating just four, or I'm sorry, just 10 grams of sugar can drop your immune system function down by four hours. The worst thing to give somebody who is sick, who has cancer, who has some type of disease or sickness or illness, is give them sugar. We have no need for that simple sugar inside our body. We just don't. We simply don't. Sugar drops the immune system down. There's a, uh, a cell in the body called a white blood cell. It's made in the bone marrow. You make, in your bone marrow, you make red blood cells which carry oxygen to the tissues, to the cells. You have white blood cells which function as basically the immune army, the army of the immune system there. There's different white blood cells. There's a specific white blood cell that's called a neutrophil. There's also platelets that's used for clotting that we need, and that's pretty much what's produced from the bone marrow itself. But the neutrophil, the activity of the neutrophil, which is one of the white blood cells, which is the function, its function is to get the immune system working right, the neutrophil activity is decreased by up to four hours. That is incredible. That means sugar doesn't drop the amount of white blood cells, it drops the amount of activity the white blood cell is supposed to do. So sugar does in fact drop immune function. KISS series, Dr. Tony, Sugar in the Immune System.